Hello everyone, my name is Betty Dubois and welcome to Butterfly Whispers Pick a Card Reading. If you like the reading, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the future videos. I hope that you enjoy today's reading. Hello everyone and welcome to a quick yes or no. Um, I did do a long detailed reading last time um, and then I did sort of a moderate one um, the next one so anyway this will be a bit detailed and we'll do a yes and no straight up and now what I'm going to do I'm using a different set of cards here I'm using the Lenormans I found them <laughs> I was looking at them in one of the readings I'm thinking where the hell did I put those cards um, so instead of moving these all to one pile like I did, I oh, actually, no, I will move them. So pile number six, so let's just count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just going to move them to one side and we'll get to cracking. I don't want to stop the video and start the video. It's easier if I just continue on. So pile number one, you're up first. Yes or no? Yes or no for pile number one. So we're going to get all the cards out first before I tell you what I'm seeing here. Just quick reshuffle on this. Ooh. Okay, so we'll just wait till we get these to get the yes and no on the table because these could change everything. Now let's count them up. We have a maybe, a definite no. We have a maybe, we have a yes, yes. We have a no, a no, and a yes, yes, yes. So as you can see, we've got yes, 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 yes. This, because it's sitting between two positive cards, turns this into just simply a government building, a hospital, a nursing home, uh, a school, a court of law. Um, so all of that does is that represents something, a building. Uh, if it was surrounded by black cards and everything, it could mean something totally different. But to me, because of these positive cards, even the ones above it, uh, this is just showing it could be two people getting married in a government building, you know, in a courtroom. Uh, it could be success in a courtroom. Uh, if it was hospital, it would be a baby boy here. So anyway, we'll get on to the actual reading now. Um, but we're going to give a yes to pile number one. Um, so starting with our Lenormand, we're going to start in a different way here. Uh, with the Lenormand, I do feel you've had bridges you've needed to cross. This is where you're standing on this bridge here. And in your life, I want this job, but it's way over there. I want to be with this girl or this guy, but it's way over there. So it's like where you're reaching for something. And you just feel like it doesn't matter how many steps forward you're going. It's just not there. Well, the good news is, guys, pile number one, you've got the timing card here. So at the moment, it's telling you it's just not the right time. But once the time is ready, then it will come. It will come to you, whatever it is that you're striving for. So if this is a job you're trying to get, a certificate you're trying to accomplish, a test you're trying to pass, or a relationship you're trying to get started, or a relationship you want to end, whatever it is you're trying to do, it's not gone and forgotten. It's there. And you've just got to give things timing. Everything will happen when it's meant to happen. Now, when we move down to your tarots, in the past there's been some sort of secret deception going on. Somebody has been sneaking around or somebody has been lying about something. Um, it's just like a mystery and you've asked the questions, you've tried to find out. You might find bits and pieces of information out, but you're not really sure. So you might say, oh, maybe it's just this. Maybe it's just that. Um, so this is like the, sometimes you just won't know because you're not meant to know. Now for others, this could be uh, just a simple meaning that you're dealing with a Pisces energy, a water sign. Um, if it's to do with star signs, this would be a water sign and an earth sign sitting side by side. Um, I do feel that some information is coming out about whatever this is you're asking questions. Uh, this is also an invitation to somebody's celebration. This can be an engagement to people coming together. It can be a business joining together. It is a romantic card. It's more like a soulmate connection to people deciding to go down that path of love with each other. So I do feel that's there. So this here might be, when's everything going to happen? Oh, I just can't find out the answers. I don't know what to do. 
uh, when you wait long enough it'll finally come in you'll finally know the answer and then boom you, you're getting balanced again down here we've got a straight out message here about a pregnancy cesarean birth baby boy born in hospital possible like I said cesarean or some sort of um, some sort of procedure is required either before or after the birth um, I'm thinking that that procedure would be done on the mother not so much to do with the baby the baby looks like it's all healthy and bouncing around um, this would then turn into the doctor this would be the happy couple celebrating the birth of their new son and uh, if you've been waiting on that when am I going to have this baby when's this all going to happen it's going to happen <laughs> you just got to wait it's it's around the corner it's there um, the moon is actually 18 which is a nine we have double nines there so September might be a, an answer it might be something to do with September we did have an earth sign here so that would be Virgo which is an earth sign uh, the other thing we've got is no there is no other double um, symbols there so anyway that is pile number one I'm going to give it a yes because we've got as I said yes 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 this turns into a yes because it's sitting between the positive cards this could be a yes this is just as long as you wait in time things will happen this is a maybe this is a definite no and this is a no as well uh, to be careful not to overindulge as well at the moment that can be doing too much it can be gossiping it can be eating too much drinking too much smoking too much whatever uh, so this is about overindulgence um, oh and for others before I go this could be that somebody's going to hospital to have some sort of surgery to correct something to fix something and then things get back on the right path uh, it may be something new, new information that comes from overseas or something to help somebody uh, that has been sick in the past. Anyway, and the sickness could be caused by something they've actually taken or been given or they might be self-medicating as well. All right, guys, that is pile number one. Let's just move them out. Okay. Pile number two, I'll turn them as I go so we're not wasting time. Yes or no? Don't read upside down cards today. Mm, I'm feeling a pretty distinct no here, but let's see. Oh, we need a new one there for that. Yeah, I'm going to go with no. I don't like this energy up the top here. I feel like there's been a lot of roadblocks test and turns and trying to get there and it's just not happening for you the snake I really don't like the snake the only way I like the snake is if it's um, some sort of medication that somebody gets or something and it works um, or a doctor or a medical kind of thing um, the symbol of the snake but the snake is usually the snake in the grass someone hidden in the trees they're ready to pounce somebody that wants to wreck things um, down here we do have this loyal trusted soldier here this is somebody that's should be there and help out I say should because of the snake energy the mountain energy and the rescue energy so I just it's like where is he why is he not helping here what's going on here this is usually loving energy and everything the rest of the cars are not showing me that uh, we do have Leo energy here it could also just symbolize the strength if this was about an illness this is some sort of mountain you've had to climb it could be around this man here he would possibly be a water sign it's usually somebody that works with their hands a builder electrician a plumber um, something like that this then would turn into the medication this is something that's going to help and then his strength comes back when we look at it that way it's a very positive reading so any struggles and everything it does look like the strength will come back if we're looking at a relationship here it looks like it's been a pretty toxic kind of relationship a lot of roadblocks a lot of problems and wanting to escape um, this could be support it could be somebody coming in to do what this character should have been doing in the first place down here we have a female very strong energy she's making her plan she's moving forward it involves money uh, for some reason 
Uh, this is a surprise coming in that you're going to like. You might win a little bit of money or there might have been a bill and somebody else pays it for you or something like that. We do have family energy here. We either have husband and wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, brother and sister, mother and father, uh, mother and child. Um, so yeah, we do have a connection of some kind here. It can be workers as well, um, that they work together, these two people, especially with the diamond in the middle and all the work cards surrounding. Uh, somebody's not being responsible for their actions here. I feel it's sitting on the male side of things. Again, <laughs> I'm wondering about these two characters here, whether it's one in the same. This should be somebody mature and supportive and everything. I just feel like they they haven't been doing what they need to do. If this is, as I said, a medical matter, this could be where you make a firm decision about what you need to do. This would show me that him or the doctor or whoever is not being responsible, not taking responsibility for their actions. Double strength, because we've got double sixes here. Uh, there may be something that occurred six weeks ago or in June. Uh, there also may be somebody in spirit that had a pretty tough uh, journey when they were alive and they're just trying to connect with you and say that everything's gonna balance back out again and you do have the strength to get through. So that's what we got on pile number one. We're going to go with a no because I'm feeling more negative energy than positive energy here. Um, if this is about you getting a job, this would be where you're overloaded. You don't like the people you're working with. You want something that feels more calm and collected. This is where you escape that job and then you finally stand on your own two feet. You sign the documents and you feel like you're in the right place at the right time. But you've got to work out the timing on all of this. You don't want to be irresponsible and just leave your job or, or say that, yes, I can do this job when you can't even turn up there or something like that. Make sure you've got everything all lined up because this looks like somebody that's in a direction. This looks like somebody that's like, oh, crap, I didn't think about this or, oh, shit, look at the time. I, ha I haven't turned up. Sorry for saying that. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's how I talk. All right, so that's pile number two yeah that was pile number two we did pile number one there yep pile number two i get confused when i put them in like that pile number two just be careful of someone stabbing you in the back there with that snake um can be somebody that's um a bit pissed off about something all right pile number three Oh, this is nice energy. Nice, nice. Okay, this is all about children. And this is yes, 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 yes. It uh, doesn't really matter what these are. That's very positive and beautiful. That's a yes, that's a yes, that's a no, but it's male energy. That's a yes, and that's a yes. Okay, so this is congratulations to those out there. This is a straight out yes. Um, this is telling me male energy. It could mean that you're having a baby and because we got female energy all here that you already have one or two male children um, and that's why it's black here and it's telling me that you're finally getting that little girl. Um, but we don't have the girl symbol. We do have feminine energy here. Um, this here has been something you've been waiting for. This is also the announcement. The stork brings the baby. Uh, this is the mother. So we've got the mother and the baby here at the top of your reading. No other way to read it apart from um, if you've lost somebody that's in spirit, it's a mothering energy for sure. And she's just watching over everything, what's what's best uh, for you. Uh, the page and page of cups and pentacles to me is children or it's study or it's joining together and it's family. Uh, we have the empress, which is the mother of all. Uh, she's also multi-talented, also very fertile, very sexual. So congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. It looks like there's pregnancy, success, mothering, family, beautiful, beautiful cards. Um, I own this reading. This is mine. <laughs> I like this. I, not that I want to be pregnant. I'm just talking about uh, the energy of this is beautiful. You could be going on a new beginning with someone. It could be a new love life. This could be the start of it, the invitation, come out with me. They admire you, they adore you, they think you're the empress to them. Um, and this is them, do you wanna go here? I've bought tickets for this. Oh, this is my love. Do you wanna go on a love journey with me? So for some of you, congratulations. Looks like you're going on a new love story. Uh, this here is commitment to long-term 
happiness, assured. I feel this is your energy or somebody else's energy where sometimes you don't say what you feel. And sometimes you think, oh, thank God I didn't say that. And then other times you think, I should have said something. So this can be where there's silence either coming from you or somebody else. It also can be breakdowns with a car or something where you're supposed to be somewhere at 7, 7 p.m. The car won't work or the person didn't pick you up. So it can be delays in that. That's the one negative card you've got here. Uh, this over here. This, she can be very sharp in that. This is more soft and feminine and, and quiet energy. This is somebody, a go-getter, very strong energy, uh, very committed long-term energy. It could be the one person. All of these cards could be the one woman. Um, it could be you and you're multi-talented. You're very beautiful. You're very mothering. You're very caring for lots of people, but you're also very business and money orientated. Uh, and this is you restoring business, uh, balance back into your life. Beautiful reading for pile number three, was it? Pile number three, I'm getting lost. Um, yeah, pile number three. So that's pile number three. Let's move right along. I own that reading. <laughs> that was my favorite reading today. And I've done quite a few readings today. I did some private readings today as well as um, online stuff. So. Yeah, that was probably the all-time favourite. It's just a shame about that Five of Spades coming out. Um, but like I said, I just feel like it's somebody that needs to talk up. All right, so let's move right along to pile number four. Good luck, pile number four. Okay, we need the rest of the cards because we've got a bit of a yes and no going on there. Um, I'm a bit stumped with this, so I'm going to split them up. That's a no. That's a no. That's a yes. That's a maybe. If this is a message from the other side, that's a yes with the double sixes. It's just somebody, a message from the other side. Or it can be the heavy cross to bear, which makes it a no. So we're going to put that on the maybe pile. So we got one yes, two no's, two maybes, another yes, another yes, another yes, and then two more no's. Um, are we equal, are we? We got four yeses and four no's. So when it's equal, and then we got two maybes, which is even more equal. Either you already know the question that you're asking, you know the answer, and you don't need the cards to tell you it's yes or it's no. Other times I see where it doesn't want to answer, I feel that it's not the right timing to ask this question. So you might be saying, um, will me and such and such be together? But right now, the person you're asking about is in a relationship with somebody. So it doesn't want to answer you because they're actually in a relationship already and you're asking, will they be with you? Um, also, you might be asking things like, am I going to get that job? But right now, somebody else has that job. So asking the question right now, it's maybe you will, maybe you won't. So I'm unfortunately on pile number four, I'm going to give everybody a maybe. I'm not going to give you a yes or a no. So let's just read them individually now. Um, the sixes were together, weren't they? Oh, like that. I'm not sure which, which way they were. It doesn't really matter which situation they were. Now, these up here. Um, I feel in the past you've had a lot of stress about something, some decision you're trying to make. It's created a heavy burden here. This is where you you felt a sense of loss. Now, you may have actually lost somebody. Like I said, the cross sometimes to me can be somebody that's in spirit trying to connect with you. Um, I would say it would have to be a male and a female in spirit. This is very dominating male energy. This is very uh, feminine energy I've got over here. We've got two fours, which is the hormones and everything, the fours. Um, and then this is female Um I've got the two parenting cards here as well. So I do feel this is something to do with somebody that's not with us anymore. Trying to give you a message. Now, like I said, this is a lot of stress and sadness. This is where you're like, enough of the sadness. I want something better. 
than this. And this is where your strength comes back. Now, you may be getting support from the Emperor. You may be getting um, sort of a push from the Emperor, like this is what you need to do now. Or you might be... Um, you might be the Emperor. You might have crawled out of whatever's going on over here, put on a brave face. We've got the masks here. So this is putting on a new face, putting on your new new decision you're making. You're sick of hanging around, waiting for something to happen, and this is where you go get it. You're going out to get it. So this could be you lost your job, you've been stressing about it, you've been crying for too long, you're deciding there's something better for me. You put on your shoes, you put on your clothes, off you go, and you make your decision. Or someone's helping you do it. Uh, this is also a card where I say, put on the face that you need to wear. You know how they say you wear different hats for different jobs? It's the same sort of image I'm getting from that. It's also showing me dark and light, night and day. So some things you know, some things you don't know. So this can be um, confusing information coming through here. The whole reading showing yes, no, yes, no, confusing, should do it, shouldn't do it. So it's very um, touch and go with this reading. Uh, down here, I feel like there's been some sort of sorrow and sadness at home. It could be deception with the two fours, one of each. This is truth and lies could be some sort of deception. The emperor then would be somebody that brings clarity and tells you what the actual truth is because we've got truth and lies over here as well. It could be about a child because um, of parenting sort of cards coming here or it could be about the parents as well. Even a teacher because this can be yes and no with teaching. Uh, here in the middle here, I'm wondering whether this is a financial situation where 50-50 split but it doesn't look like a 50-50 split. It looks like Someone gets 8,000, somebody gets 6,000, someone gets 800,000, someone gets 600,000. So there's a definite drop towards somebody where somebody gets a lot more than the other person. So if you were doing a court type thing, you've been stressing about it, you've been worrying about what your future is going to be, this would be the lawyer, this would be you sitting there worrying at home, somebody in spirit's trying to tell you you're going to get that money, don't worry about it, this is success with it. And then this over here would be somebody else that's sort of like, how come you got this and I only got that? That's what we've got in pile number four. And that's what we have there. So we're going to give a no on pile number four. There's quite a negative feel to pile number four. Okay, so pile number five, second last, what have we got? Now I'm not going to read that upside down, I'm going to read them all upright. Ooh, this is looking good, but let's just see what else we've got. Okay, I'm giving a yes on uh, pile number five. This is beautiful energy. Um, this is some sort of journey you're going on. This could be a journey inside your mind, something you want to do. It could be a new job. It could be movement, moving from one house to another. It could be a relationship journey. Now, be prepared for somebody stubborn and set in their ways. This is like the old way, the way you used to do things. This is a new beginning down here, but some of the traditional values that you hold in life are there. I do feel pile number five, you might have been asking a question about a relationship, a marriage or something, because I always feel that Hierophant is a long-term commitment. Could be a job, could be committed to a long-term journey, but we do have the cups here. Um, this could be your traveling into that journey of marriage and commitment because uh, we've got the double aces, which is usually the ring going on the finger and dedication and love and Hierophant in the middle of it all. This would be the invitations going out. Uh, congratulations to some of you. I do see a baby boy here being born. Uh, very, very happy event. This looks like a natural birth with the nine of hearts. Um, the doctor's present, but we do have a baby boy on the table here. Uh, you may be doing it and you're not actually married to the person. Um, so it may be a going it alone with the baby and that's maybe why there's some sort of stubborn thing here or something that's uh, not sort of coming along for the ride here. Um, congratulations to some of you that might be actually going on a holiday or something like that and romantic adventure as well in here. 
But pile number five, really like this energy apart from these two, but this is not major. This can just mean where you set sail and then you put your anchor down and this is where you want to stay and then you make your lifelong commitment to somebody. Um, this can be you or somebody else that needs to grow up because they say they're committed but then they're not. It's not major, it's not like divorce kind of card or somebody that's not just not going to be there. It's just sometimes um, it feels like they don't fully commit themselves to something. Eventually they will. Uh, for some of you in pile number five, it looks like you're about to embark on a new job as well. The money might not be what you originally thought it would be. Um, but it's going to make you happy either way. So you might have started your own business, an online business maybe, and uh, that would be the overseas connections through online. This would be you sitting at home, and that would be you connecting to people online. Um, it's going to make you and others very happy. There's a very good family loving feel here in pile number five. So I really, really do like pile number five. All your dreams and wishes coming true, basically, in pile number five. And be prepared for an invitation coming in. I feel like somebody's going to announce that they're getting married or they've started a new business or something like that. Anyway, pile number five, yes. So let's get on to pile number six, yes or no. Yeah, it was just, um, I do feel sometimes people, like I know when I used to look at different card readings online when I was trying to work out how to do my readings online. Um, I would watch these yes and no videos and I'd think, oh, I hope it's a no, I hope it's a no. And um, yeah, and it would come out with, oh, it's positive, this is a yes. And I'd like, oh, no, you know, I wanted a no. Um, anyway, uh, pile number six, yes or no. All right, pile number six, Ooh, we've got yes, maybe, no, yes, maybe, no, yes, no, uh, yes, no, and yes. One, two, three, four, five, uh, and one, two maybes, and one, two, three, no's. All right, I'm going to give a yes on pile number six. I'm going to give a yes to pile number six. I do think you're in two minds about what you want to do. I do think you're getting yes, no, yes, no. See how we got three black, three red, ace black, ace red. This is yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Um, but then the final decision is yes on the end here. So yeah, we're going to give a yes to pile number three. Uh, you may have somebody in spirit. I'd say that this person was male. They would have died of something to do with their head or their heart. Uh, this could be emotional type thing that they died of or with. Like they may have had bipolar, schizophrenia. They may have some, something like that, dementia. Um, they also may have had physically had a ha health issue with their heart. Um, or it could have been stroke as well because I'm seeing the head here. Over here I'm seeing something to do with the pelvic area, the kidneys, the bowel, the bladder, the sexual organs. Um, so there's definitely a spirit energy in pile number six. Um, up here it's telling you somebody in spirit is trying to tell you you will reap what you sow. So if you put out horrible things out there it's going to come back it's kind of like a karma card when i look at this um, but it's also showing all your hard efforts are finally about to come in so if you're putting out good energies out there it's finally about to come in if you've been working long and hard for years and years and years at something it's finally about to show the results uh, so that's good but you still got to wait with the moon card sitting right beside it this is not the moon like uh, secrets and that this is the moon of waiting 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 for something to happen uh, down here this is a feeling of being left out it could be that you need to borrow money um, and maybe this cashing in card is because you've been waiting and you're still waiting then your dreams are finally coming true if this is a financial thing that you're asking about, it's telling you even if the money comes in, you need to make sure you're balancing it. Otherwise, you're going to get yourself in a bit of bother um, with money. 
down here this can be a friend that you trusted that you don't trust anymore it can be where you're deciding who's friends who's not friends it's also you could be dealing with someone that's not fully telling you the truth here uh, same with this here as well this is thoughts one day you feel like you're on top of the world and you know what you want the other day you feel heartbroken but i do feel mostly these cards at the bottom are coming through from a spirit energy not so much about messages just they're here they love you they respect you they're watching your journey they're trying to help you get on the right path and trying to make all your dreams come true now there's a totally other meaning what i've got here this would be the doctor the nine months of the birth of the baby a baby boy with the five there uh, this would be where you possibly lost a pregnancy and then you have a pregnancy so you've got fertility cards down here uh, this over here could represent twins with the double cards uh, so you might be dealing with twins as well um, and in spirit you may have lost a twin there may be somebody that's in spirit anyway guys that is pile number six we were giving a what was it uh, what did we have maybe maybe yes 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 uh, we we're giving it a yes a yes on pile number six anyway guys that's it i'll catch everybody next week